everybody. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome to the second anniversary of Lagos Environment Webinar Series. Uh, happy independence to Nigeria. Lovely panelists, thank you for joining us. It has been a very wonderful two years for the whoever team, and thank God for the journey so far. Today we are discussing something that is crucial. Basically, everybody knows that in Nigeria, policy somersaults and policy conversion and different language has been used for policy in Nigeria. You see, because people have issues when it comes to policy from different governments, from different states, different policy comes up by different administration. There's always what we call policy inconsistency. But we cannot have that when it comes to environment because environment is germane. Environment is very, very important. Our life depends on how we manage the environment. So for any policy that will come up when it comes to environment, it has to be data driven. And that is why today we are talking about environment policy that is based on data, that is based on scientific facts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to Lagos Environment Lecture Series, the second anniversary webinar of Eco Enviro Talk. Our dialogue for today is focusing on environmental evidence based decision making in environmental policy formulation in Lagos states. This topic seeks to test the hypothesis of the need to incorporate relevant environmental information when designing policy instruments and also to strengthen the scientific infrastructure for evidence-based environmental policy. A brief introduction about myself. I'm Wandi Seriki, a sustainability and climate change professional passionate about designing holistic pathways for green growth in Africa. One of the numerous ways I believe this can be done is by bridging the knowledge gap between human development and sustainable development, thereby creating opportunities for best available scenarios that can be adopted. It's my pleasure to be moderating this show, and I hope that you're ready for the conversation. It would be an absolute delight to meet you all. One thing I've realized in this process is that there is a need for interest and passion on the part of the different stakeholders that are involved in the environmental management process. And one of the things that I've seen, especially with Lagos State, and I'm not saying this at the expense of others because other people, um, states are also trying in their own way. And of course, the resources available to Lagos State cannot be compared. This is part of the context that I'm talking about, is that there is a deep interest and passion to elicit and bring about the change that we need. So, um. I also want to appreciate what um, Eco Environment Talk is doing, bridging the gap between the researchers, the industries, and the government policymakers. Um, I would uh, like to point out that something that Dr. Oshuamu talked about, something that she doesn't want to be biased about, uh, maybe disseminating a particular um, information. These are one of the challenges that we have as researchers. We have um, the data, we have the expertise, but we don't know how this information is going to be accepted, how it's going to be reviewed, how it's going to be evaluated. And even if it is accepted, evaluated, is it going to be implemented? Yeah, we know how, how, how we can be in, in Nigeria, but here in the US, it is even the policymakers that are actually trying to sensitize, insensitize the researchers to carry out this research in terms of funds, funds are, more than available if you want to do anything that will enhance climate sustainability, which is one of the challenges that uh, Dr. Shubamu pointed out, that the funding is not available, but here it is available. They are ready to support you. They are ready to, to, to evaluate with an unbiased mind without being judgmental of the outcome of your research. And you have nothing to fear if, your, um, if your, the, the outcome of your research is going to be accepted or not. I think uh, that is one of the things that is actually impeding um, evidence-informed uh, decision of uh, environmental policies. At this point, I'd like to say that we have come to the round, to the end of the panel session. Thank you so much to Dr. Shogamo and Mr. Shemade for sharing your insights with us and our audience. Um, your Thank you. This is the core part of the second webinar series of the Lagos Environment Lecture Series. 
thank you to our audience for staying with us till this till this um till this long. I hope it has been very insightful and knowledge driven for you. For me, I'm seeing that data is a product. I, I never thought about it that way. So I want to say thank you to Dr. for bringing that to perspective that data is actually a product and if we begin to think about it as that, then maybe we can begin to understand how to utilize it properly. So I just want to say thank you again. Thank you very much for having me.